This question is going to be tricky. Now, in this, we have a bunch of M&Ms, and they tell us the percentages that are uh, brown, yellow, red, blue, and orange, and green. And we need to compute the probability the randomly selected peanut is not orange. So in our formula page, not orange is a complement. Here's a complement, which means the opposite probability of something not occurring is one minus the probability it does occur. So this is the one minus probability orange. This is the probability of not orange. So it's one minus probability of orange. All right, what's the probability of orange? 23% are orange, so 0.23, turning the percent to a decimal. Subtract this, we have 77. Now, if you think about 23% being orange, the opposite of 23%, the opposite percentage is 77%. And that'll be the answer for this first one. Now the next one, compute probability is brown or yellow. So it could be brown, could be yellow, and much higher chance than only brown or yellow by themselves. 15% yellow, 12% brown. So all we have to do is add up the percents. And if we go to our formula page, somewhere up here is or. Probability of A or B is a probability of A plus the probability of B. So that's the formula we want right there. Now we'll go back. Brown or yellow. I'm gonna just do probability of B plus probability of Y. So B for brown, Y for yellow. Now these probabilities, one was 12 was brown. So 12% as a decimal, 0 0.12. Yellow, 15%. 0 0.15, you add these up, you get 0.27. That'll be right here, 0.27. All right, next one. Three randomly selected are all orange. So this is probability of orange probability of orange, probability of orange. We want three things to happen in a row. And when we want orange and orange and orange, we multiply. And again, that's back in the formula page, also covered in the textbook. So all orange, that means and. So we just need to know probability one of them is orange. And cross that out, red, blue, orange, 23, or 0.23. So it's 0.23 times 0.23 times 0.23, or 0.23 cubed to the third power. So that's what we're gonna put here. Um, I don't have a calculator with me, so I'll just leave it like this. All right, if we randomly select five, probability that none of them are red. So you could uh, think about probability that none of them are red. Uh, the best way to do this, none are red, is the opposite of one or more are red. So there's a few ways we could do it. Uh, let's just do probability of not red for just one M&M. Probability of not red for one. Somewhere up here is red, 12% are red. The opposite of 12% is 88%, or 100% minus 12% is 88%. Point 0.88. So that would be the chance of not red on one of them but we want five in a row. So it now, at this point, it's very similar to the last one. We just have to repeat this five times. So it's this 0.88 
raised to the fifth power. Okay, next up we randomly select five peanut M&Ms, compute the probability that at least one of them is red. Now, this would be really tricky to do if you didn't notice one important thing. So probability that, probability that at least one of them is red. So it, there could be one red, two red, three red, four red, or all five red. And think about the one we just answered. Probability that uh, we select five and none are red. So what's the opposite, the complement that none are red? That means one or more is red. So we can do the opposite. of none are red. None of the five are red. So that'll be one minus, that's the opposite. And what we just computed in the last one. So it's one minus that number we just got. And that'll be this probability.